What's your biggest regret? In chess, of course, it's not that type of channel. And it doesn't matter if you've been playing this game two years or 20 years. Just put something down below. Nothing to do with engagement metrics. It could be something like, you played too much classical chess, you should be playing more blitz. Or, you were playing Karo Khan for 10 years. Wow, what a waste of time. I'm sorry to hear that. And do you know what my biggest regret is? I've only been playing the game three years. But I realized something recently. I was playing too many closed positions. Let's put one up on the screen. And so you know this position. It's been reached 12 million times in the Lee Chess database. So I'm not the only one doing this. And you know what the most popular move in the Lee Chess database is? E6. Semi-Slav, that triangle thing. E6, D5, C6. And I know why you're playing this. Because there's no way through here. And you're going to play some 50 move Rick Endgame. That's like your date last Friday night. It's not going anywhere. Everyone's got their clothes on. Let's roll this back to when it was D4, D5, C4. The Queen's Gambit steeped in history. And Lie Squares is going to tell you that you should play the move D takes C4. Wow, the Queen's Gambit accepted. Every beginner should do this. And I spoke to a title player about this once. And he was like, Whoa, whoa, light squares, you can't do this. There's a loss of central tension. There's going to be long diagonals. There's going to be open files. There's going to be mistakes, tactics everywhere. I'm like, dude, are you making the case for this or against this? If that's what you're saying, I'm all in. Ah, I'm all in. And so many beginners here are going to play this move E4, completely principled thing to do, take over the center. Top players will do this. And now, I guess this is why it's ominous for many players, because white has this enormous center, and you're missing your central pawn, and you're thinking, well, I don't want to play this, but just hear me out. Play this move E5. And all of a sudden, you're going to think, what? Nice squares. I don't want to listen to you. Okay, okay, okay. You know who you should listen to? You know who played this line? Somebody better than Stockfish. Vishwanathan Anand. Let's put him up on the screen. Former world champion. And I'm not just saying all these things because I know this loads of Indians have subscribed to my channel and yeah, this ain't a business decision. It's all about being objective here. Huh? And so, you know what's going to happen in this position? This position has been reached 1.1 million times in the Lee Chess database and 687,000 of these games went with the move D5. A mistake. Your four moves in, black is winning. It's minus one on the engine. Go check it. You take nothing away from this video except this. 1.1 million games, 687,000, when we D5. Minus one on the engine. And you'll say in beginner land, minus one is nothing. But that's a foundation from which you can build upon. Compare that to the semi-slav thing. Nothing's happening there. And so here the key move is knight of six. And white has a dilemma. Because white is down a pawn, and this e4 pawn is hanging, and they're thinking, well, I want to take this c4 pawn, okay? And so some people do this. Some people do this. So let's investigate that. After bishop takes c4, knight takes e4, some people play this move knight c3, and you know what the top engine move here is? Bishop b4, pin that knight. That's what you were thinking. Wrong, guys. You do your tactics puzzles the whole time. Knight takes f2. And now king takes f2, queen h4, check, g3, queen takes c4, and you're winning. Try and convert this game, thank me later. And so, you'll say, okay, knight c3, let's just say they do normal things, knight f3. Okay? And now, what we do, bishop b4, check, they play knight d2, they don't want to exchange their bishops. Okay? And so we have some normal moves here, you can see these popular moves in the database, castles and castles, and here... You can play this move. I think it's a top engine move. Knight d6. And you know what beginners are doing? They play this move. Knight takes e5. And they lost. You're doing your tactics puzzles the whole time. Bishop takes d2. Bishop takes d2. And of course, the winning move now is f6. Remove the defender tactic. Benjamin Feingold says, don't ever play f6. Except now, of course. And why has to make this decision? Do I give away this knight or do I give away this bishop? So you see, minus one on the engine. But white has a very narrow path to walk. And so let's say they delay the capture here. They delay this. So they can see the problems around e4. So they defend it first. So they play knight c3. Okay. And so 
here's a bit of trivia or here's a question for the top players that are listening to this you rated over 2000 fide tell me what the top engine move here is and if you got it put a comment below hand on heart that you got the top engine move here do you know what it is b5 b5 wow forget about developing controlling the center that stuff is overrated b5 is the top engine move and white's getting confused now beginner land white's getting confused like whoa did this guy just blunder a pawn knight takes b5 knight takes e4 bishop takes c4 mature is equal whoa 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 bishop b4 check and how are you going to deal with this you can't put your knight here because we're going to have takes and takes and takes and white's going to have to give up a rook and you can't put your bishop here because that's just a free piece the queen can't get involved top engine move king f1 thank like squares later it's time for you to convert this game and so let's say they see all this okay so they see all this they can see all this so they first play this move bishop g5 very popular move in the lead chess database okay so now you play this move bishop c5 and they're like okay now i'll take the pawn now you do your tactics puzzles you know exactly what to do bishop takes f2 king takes f2 and now knight takes e4 the king moves we take this bishop your two pawns up and even if they take this pawn here on c4 turn on the engine it's minus three minus three and so let's say they still see all this and they play this move knight f3 you can try this dubious move okay it's not the top engine move here but try this dubious move b4 and now there's only one move for white only one move bishop takes f6 one move they have to play this three out of four people in the lead chess database they play this move knight a4 knight a4 and of course it's just the same tactic as before bishop takes f2 king takes f2 knight takes e4 the king moves to g1 this rook is going to be sleeping for the whole game you're going to win okay and so not everyone plays this move e4 some people play e3 and what they're trying to do to beginners is trick them there's this famous trick here don't ever fall for that light squares is looking after you okay don't ever play b5 here and then you're gonna have a4 and c6 and takes takes and now you lost because of queen f3 this rook is hanging and if you don't want to lose your rook you just put your knight here and give that up don't ever do that you know what's really annoying after e3 e5 again that's annoying they're like bishop takes c4 takes they don't want a queen exchange beginners want their queens they want to checkmate they want to move on from this game and they take here and now okay this is a totally equal position but this is an isolated pawn and okay there's this whole theory here about how isolated queen's pawns can be an asset but at the end of the day that's tough to play now you trade down this is fundamentally going to be a weakness it's a pawn that cannot be protected by another pawn. So it's something to look into. And very finally, before you go, I don't want to drag this on, I'll give you some homework. I'll give you the best reason why you should play D take C4, why you should do this. Do you know this position has been reached 40 million times in the Lee Chess database? 40 million. And you know what the most popular move here is? Nice C3. 15 million games, approximately. 15 million, most popular move. And title players don't do this. Go ask them. You don't believe life squares? Go ask them. They don't do this. You turn on a master's database, and 1.7% of players are going to play knight c3 in this position. And why is that? Because here, a top engine move is a6, and b5 is threatened, and you've got all this queenside expansion threats going on. And this knight c3 move isn't a good move. You can research this on your own. And so this is the land of opportunity, guys. Forget about all those closed positions. Remember, no regrets in life, guys. D4, D5, C4. Just take, guys. Life's too short. Just take. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck and Godspeed.